What's going on, world? This is your boy, Wes, and I'm here to talk about James Todd Smith, a.k.a. Ladies Love Cool James. Brother Man has been out for a very long time. He's 44 years old. He's released 13 studio albums, and he's coming out with his 14th album, which is entitled Authentic Hip Hop, to be released February 12, 2013. He has a new video out. It's called Take That, Take That, Take That, Take, Take, Take That. It's featuring Joe, and it's featuring an older woman. And the reason why I say this chick is older is because she doesn't look like the ladies that you typically see in the video. She looks like an older woman. She looks like a well-grown, mature woman. Is LL Cool J going to take it home this time? His last three studio albums did not go past gold, really. Just hit gold I don't know is he gonna do it this time with authentic hip-hop to me like when you when you name an album authentic hip-hop I'm really thinking that it's not gonna do too well when you make a new video and you reference the stuff that you've done in the past because then take it take that take that take that he has this building and the lady the older woman looks through the building looks through her window and looks at this building and sees like you have like six different LLs and they're all referencing things that he's done in his past. With the iconic mama said knock you out and he's in the gray hoodie and it's in black and white and he's rapping into the mic. No one cares about that right now. No one cares about mama said knock you out. Mama said knock you out was in the what 80s, 90s, 80s? Nobody cares about that. It's all about what are you doing right now and how are you gonna fit the mold in authentic hip hop I want, I hope, I want, and I hope that it does well. But I really do not think that it's going to do well. You got authentic hip hop, and then you got Guap by Big Sean. Take it, the video featuring Joe has 465 views on Vivo. Guap has over 100,000 views on Vivo. I, I, I don't know. Like, people need to take heed to what Usher is doing. And although Usher is not an old artist, like 40 years in the game, I mean, he is understanding that you need to fit the mold in order to fit the mold. Like, don't sell yourself short or sell yourself out, but sell yourself in and make sure that you can continue and continue and continue. I mean, yeah, 13 albums, that's great. But the last three albums didn't really do too hot. I mean, if you're not getting, if you're not going platinum, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, people nowadays, as far as artists are concerned, need to be really in the mindset of the current and the future, not in the past. Mama said, knock you out is so irrelevant, like it's bananas. Yes, you helped pave the way for a lot of these particular, yeah, I guess, but ain't nobody can. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, the song is nice. It talks about how the female can come all night and go shopping in the morning. I mean, people would like that. And I mean, you're rapping to females that aren't going to have that privilege with you, LL, because they're not going to be able to be with you. I mean, I guess the fantasy of it, I guess, is nice. But then you got Joe. Like... Joe? Like, I love Joe, but Joe. Why not Bruno Mars? Why not Miguel? Joe? I, I don't know. I, to me, the artists that were in the past, that were big hits, the 80 artists, the 80s artists, early 90s artists, need to understand that their past is their past. And in order for them to have a future, they need to become present. Check out the video on Vivo. Tell me what you think about it. But, yeah. Authentic hip hop. Are you going to get it? Leave a comment below the video and let me know if you're going to get authentic hip hop. Are you going to be thinking about authentic hip hop? Are you going to be thinking about... Mm -hmm.